Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. If you're using On One Photo Raw 2022 or Luminar to replace the sky in your images, you probably already know that with those applications, you can very easily add the reflection of that sky in the water. Unfortunately, with Photoshop, you cannot add a reflection. You could easily replace the sky, but you cannot easily add the reflection as well until now. In today's video, I'm going to show you a workaround, how you could replace the sky in the image and replace it or add it as a reflection as well. We're going to be working on this image. And you can see this is a great image for a new sky and to have that sky reflected in the water as well. I really haven't done anything to it at all. I'm just going to replace the sky. So step number one, replace the sky. Go up to edit and then down to sky replacement. And I'm just going to let it put in the last sky I used, which happens to be an OcuDrone sky. Uh, those of you that watch my videos know that I've been pushing and plugging the skies from OcuDrone from some time. I think they're the best skies on the market. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website and I have a discount code so you could check it out. Now I'm just going to replace the sky with this sky. And there are some things you could do. You could shift the edge, fade the edge. You could adjust brightness, temperature, scale. You could flip it. In the foreground, you could do some adjustments as well. Really avoid doing any adjustments if possible because then it will be easier when you add the reflection. But if you have to shift the edge a little bit or maybe fade the edge, just remember what you did. Meaning if I fade the edge, I move it from 50 to 60, just remember that so that when we work on the reflection, we could fade that or shift that appropriately. So I'm going to just stay with this guy, the last guy I used, and then what you're going to want to do is output it to a duplicate layer and click OK. Now you'll see we have two layers. We have the top layer, which is the image with the new sky, and we have the bottom layer, which is the original image. Turn off the top layer like I just did, then click on that bottom layer. It's called background. Now just go over here and unlock this little padlock because what we're going to do is flip this upside down and you won't be able to, to do that if it is locked. So just click on that little padlock so it's unlocked. Then go into what's called free transform mode by hitting Command or Control T on your computer. Now you can see you have a bounding box with some handles. That means you're in free transform mode. Right click inside of that bounding box, then go down to flip vertical. And you just flipped it upside down. It, for this specific image, it was such a perfect reflection. It looks normal, but trust me, it is upside down. Now go up here and click this little check mark to accept that transformation. Now we're going to replace the sky in this image, and it should put it up here, where, which is actually water. So go up to Edit, and then go down to Sky Replacement. Again, we're going to use the same exact sky. Don't use a different sky. And if you did move any of the sliders, as I mentioned, remember what you move them to and then move them to those exact same settings for the for this sky and then again I'll put it to a duplicate layer and then click OK. So now we have that on a duplicate layer. We have that top layer as well. Now we'll turn that top layer off, keep that off, stay on this middle layer. This is the one with the sky replacement. The bottom layer is just the original image. Go on this middle layer. We need to flip it back. Hit Command or Control T on your computer to again go into free transform mode. Again, right click on the image, go down to flip vertical. Now we have it flipped and we have a reflection in water. Doesn't look that great, but we're gonna fix that. Now we're gonna click on that top layer and turn it on. Now it totally covers up all the layers below it. It also covered up our reflection. Now to get our reflection back, what we need to do is add a layer mask to this. Go down here and click on this little icon. Now we added the layer mask. Get a brush. Hit the B key on your keyboard for the brush. It's right here. Make sure black is the foreground swatch. If it isn't, just hit the X key on your keyboard to swap them. Now we have the brush. Hit the B key. Sorry. All right. We have the brush. Then up here where it says opacity, pull the opacity down to somewhere between 20 and 30%. I'll just put it at like 25. All right. Now I'm going to get a large brush by hitting the right bracket key on my keyboard. If I wanted to get a smaller brush, I'd hit the left bracket key, but I'm gonna get a really large brush. 
And then what we're going to do is we're, we're clicked on the mask. We're going to paint on the mask. I'll get a smaller br brush. I went a little bit overboard. Now, every stroke I brush will put 25% of that bottom layer, allow 25% of that bottom layer to come through. So I'll just brush and you can see, ah, we're starting to see some sky. It is cumulative. So I'll just do another brush stroke and you can see it's adding to it. And just add enough, do enough brush strokes. This is why you're putting it at 25 so that you could put enough brush strokes so that it looks realistic. Typically the reflection won't be quite as strong as the actual sky. So just bring it in like that. And I think that one looks pretty good just like that. I'm gonna get a smaller brush so it's not as obnoxious. And then you're really done with the sky replacement now and you have a perfect reflection and you could process the image as you normally would. What I probably would do is I would add a hue adjustment layer and I'd go to saturation slider and I turn that up. Now I don't want to go too crazy, but I turn it up a little bit, make it a little more saturated. And that's it. That's how you go about adding the reflection of a sky that you just replaced in an image using Photoshop. Hopefully they add this functionality to the sky replacement tool to Photoshop in the near future. But until then, do this. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.